हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लारावल इंटरव्यू सीरीज ऑफ एडिशन 2024-25 सो दिस सीरीज विल कवर द लेटेस्ट लारावल 11 एंड इफ यू वांट टू क्रैक द लारावल इंटरव्यूज देन दिस सीरीज इज फॉर यू ओके सो द इंटरव्यूअर मे आस्क एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस राइट फ्रॉम द बेसिक और एडवांस एंड इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई to cover each and every question that the interviewer may ask you and in this particular video we are going to cover the general awareness questions so this uh, particular video is for the freshers uh, who just joined the laravel and it's good for the expert as well because sometimes we forgot some of the questions that the interviewer may ask uh, or our friends or relatives can also ask uh, for some general questions so we must get ready for this one so let's start working on this laravel interview series of edition 202425 so let's see the first question so first question is the simple one what is laravel okay so interviewer may not ask about this uh, simple question uh, no no i don't think interviewer may ask you that what is laravel okay but your friends or relatives may ask you okay so if you are a laravel developer and if you will tell them uh, that you are working with laravel and you are a laravel developer then they will ask you they will surely ask you i think that what is laravel so at that time you must answer them you must answer uh, like in a simple terms you can say that uh, laravel is uh, such kind of the language that helps to make websites or uh, applications or apps okay so see in simple terms but in more technical terms uh, that will look even better uh, means technical words the person will able to know that this is the technical person and he is uh, uh, explaining in a better way okay so what you can answer that laravel is free open source php framework it follows the mvc architectural pattern to develop the web applications so it looks better even the interviewer may ask then you can answer such kind such kind of uh, uh, you you can give such kind of answer okay so even the more technical person can ask like some of your friends can ask who may be doing java who may be doing uh, who may be in some other technical line they can ask uh, also ask you so this kind of wording will look good okay and it is meaningful like laravel is free you can able to use uh, anywhere in any of the uh, like in any of the operating system you can able to install it okay and there are no charges at all okay it is the open source so such kind of terms is really good enough okay uh, to answer and even the even if uh, see interviewer may not ask not ask you but even if they will ask that such kind of terms such kind of meaningful wording is really good okay so you will also say that it follows the mvc architectural pattern so every technical person knows wh what is mvc model view controller so okay they will uh, able to listen okay yeah yeah see see okay okay got it got it got it okay so and you can also tell uh, that mvc is developed in june 2011 by taylor otwell okay so this is the proper definition of laravel and if your friends or relative will ask you then you can answer in such a way okay so let's see the next question so next question is what is mvc okay so this is very important question so if someone don't know maybe you will say that uh, to your friends or relative that uh, this is the mvc framework so the another question they may ask you that what is mvc okay so even the interviewer may ask you because uh, uh, if you are going for the laravel fresher interview then they may ask you that what is mvc okay so at that time you need to answer that mvc is the model view controller other than it that what is model view controller let's see its proper definition model view controller pattern is a way to organize your code that separates it into three parts model controllers and views 
so it allows you to separate the application code from the presentation code okay so uh, why we are using the mvc because it separates the application code with the presentation code like uh, uh, if you are a developer then you are going to work on these models and controllers and if you are a designer then you are going to work on the view part so the mvc helps the developers as well as the designers to work at the same time in the same project okay so uh, so it will save lot of our time as well as the efforts so what are model and controllers see with the help of models you are going to connect uh, with your tables with your database okay so uh, with the help of controllers you are going to uh, like going to create all your current functions there like you are going to create uh, uh, those add edit view delete all these kind of function in your controller and view and view is for the view part okay view is uh, all the view uh, that the designer can able to manage so that is the view part the laravel adopts the mvc pattern that is the big thing okay right from the beginning laravel supports the mvc pattern so let's see the next question what is the latest version of laravel <coughs> so latest version of laravel at this time in year 2024 is laravel 11 okay so laravel 11 is the latest version uh, so if you are working in laravel 11 that that will be really great for the interviewer interviewer will be really happy that if you are going to work on the latest version of laravel okay so laravel 11 is the latest version in the year 2024 when we have made this video okay what is the php requirement for laravel 11 so we are going to see what is the minimum php requirement that what minimum version of php is required for laravel 11 let's see so minimum php version for laravel 11 is 8.2 okay so make sure that your system that your apache server supports at least 8.2 and i always recommend uh, to install the xamp okay to install to install the xamp server uh, xamp latest server uh, uh for the laravel okay for the latest version of laravel 11 you must install the php 8.2 or greater than it okay let's see the next question what are the new features you are uh, going to see in laravel 11 uh, what are the new features in 11 laravel 11 okay so uh, let's see if the interviewer will ask you that okay so laravel 11 is the latest version but which are the features uh, you can tell us about laravel 11 then some of the features that you can say let's see it's the revamp directory structure in laravel 11 complete directory structure is changed in laravel 11 so this is the big feature uh, that introduced in the laravel 11 maybe the uh, that uh, middlewares uh, folder is gone away okay so many things are new in laravel 11 don't go for the details just tell about the features if the interview will ask interview will not have that much time that if he will ask for one question then you will take just five ten minutes don't do that okay maybe he will ask for some six seven questions from you okay so uh, just you are going to take the name okay if he will uh he wants to explain you further then you can able to explain okay so like no more http kernel okay so this is uh this uh is not there in laravel 11 okay so model cast changes so this is the another new feature in laravel 11 then config changes there are the major config changes in laravel 11 okay so new once method we are going to study this new once method very soon in laravel 11 okay in detail we are going to see all these features so don't worry okay so routes changes so there are routes changes as well in laravel 11 very interesting okay so the last one 
new up health route so this one also we are going to see what this route will do in laravel 11 so very interesting features so there are more features in laravel 11 but uh, you can name uh, six seven features if the interviewer will ask you then you can tell uh, those six seven features uh, okay main six seven features of laravel 11 okay so let's see the next question what is a composer in laravel okay so uh, this is the one of the main question that uh, the interviewer may ask you okay so what is the composer so let's see its answer composer is an open source package management tool that helps to solve packages for php for laravel also we require composer to install packages like intervention passport extra and we can also use Composer to install Laravel and updates packages and components required for our Laravel projects. Okay, so uh, you can see that the Composer is an open source package management tool. Okay, so uh, so if you want to install the Laravel, then again the Composer, you can use the Composer to install the Laravel and you can install the packages you are going to see like uh, we have done in our e-commerce series we have able to install many of the packages with the help of the la uh, with, with the help of the composer okay we are able to install the intervention passport and many other packages with the help of the composer okay so this composer helps us to install the laravel not only laravel but it also helps to update the packages in laravel so that is the main advantage of the composer in laravel okay so let's see the next question so what is the templating engine in used in laravel so uh, let's see its answer the templating engine used in laravel is blade the blade file has dot blade dot php extension so you can see in laravel uh, we use the blade files for the view part okay so uh, so most of our designers uh, can work on these blade files these blade files are located at the resources views folder and you are going to uh, create these blade files uh, at the view part so our templating engine in laravel is the is these blade files uh, okay that we are going to manage in our laravel so its extension is dot blade dot php extension okay you can answer this question if the interviewer will ask you that what is the templating engine in laravel then you can simply say that the templating engine used in laravel is blade that is having the extension dot blade dot php okay so let's see the next question which databases laravel can support so there are number of databases laravel can support we are using the mysql but there are other databases as well that the laravel can support let's see what other databases laravel can support what are the main databases that laravel can support so laravel supports these all these databases postgresql mysql that we are working on okay so sqlite sql server as well and one another that is the mongodb that is uh, that is now becoming famous all the time when we are going to uh, use the mongodb with laravel very soon okay i'm going to explain to you that how we can use the mongodb with laravel okay so most common that are mysql sql server and mongodb and we are using the mysql now from many years okay and we have no trouble with mysql but we need to learn new one that is the mongodb as well there are other databases as well but most common uh, these are the most common okay so we are going to use the mongodb that is another uh, good database uh, that the laravel can support okay so let's see the next question what is an artisan so most of the time we are going to use the artisan okay uh, so this is uh, we can say the command line tool let's see its answer first of all yes this is the command line tool or interface that laravel uh, for laravel that helps the developers for building the applications most common artisan commands are these one okay so see artisan 
all the time if we want to run the project we are going to give the php artisan serve command so the artisan is the command line tool that the laravel develops for the for for the developers uh, who can able to run the artisan commands okay so every time we need to give this kind this kind of commands php artisan php artisan you can see so php artisan is the term that we are going to use with all the main commands of the artisan okay php artisan serve for running the laravel project php artisan make controller for making the controller file php artisan make model for making the model file php artisan make migration for making the migration file for creating table php artisan make seeder for making the cedar file for interesting data in table so we are using these commands most of the time in our laravel e-commerce series so artisan if the interviewer will ask you you just require to answer that artisan is the command line tool okay or interface just you can uh, uh, simply able to answer like artisan is the command line tool that the that helps the developers for building the application and most common artisan commands are like php artisan serve php artisan make controller php artisan make model so these kind of uh, examples you can able to give to the interviewer so that the interviewer will uh, will able to know that you know about the artisan very well okay so let's see the next question so that's all for now okay in the uh, in this series uh, we able to uh, learn uh, see many of the things many of the general awareness questions uh, that the interviewer can ask uh, but the interviewer may not ask those general uh, those general questions but your friends or relative can ask you then you must explain those okay uh, so uh, so this will give you the idea that how to how you can able to answer uh, these general questions okay and uh, so uh, so this is the part one of the laravel interview questions if you have any query you can surely uh, comment me in the comment section uh, so we will come up with the next uh, next video uh, with more important questions that the interviewer will ask so interviewer may ask okay so uh, please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye